Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Spooky Internet Stories. Now I haven't uploaded one in a while since my uh, darkest videos on U on YouTube one. It's just because I lost motivation, but today I got motivation again. Or like these last couple days for me to actually write the script. And I uh, want to do this, so um, I'm back. <laughs> I'm better than ever. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for... I think like 30 something subscribers now like at the start of this i had like seven now i have 30 well, that's pretty good <laughs> now i have uh 13 000 views thank you for that too i'm just grateful um yeah thank you guys for everything and uh let's just get right into this video elliot roger from a rich prep boy to a mass shooter how did this happen and why did this happen we will find out in this new episode of spooky internet stories Elliot Roger was born on July 24th, 1991 in the district Lambeth, London, UK, consisting of a population of 9,675 people according to the census in 2011. Elliot's parents were Peter Roger, a filmmaker famously working on The Hunger Games, and Lee Chan Rogers, a Malaysian research assistant. Elliot also had a younger sister. Later on, the family immigrated to the United States and settled in Los Angeles where Elliot was raised. And Peter Rogers later married Moroccan actor Samoya Akabun. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Since a youthful age, Elliot Rogers was seeing a therapist and was prescribed to take medication. He never did though. His mother believed that he had Asperger's syndrome, but he was never diagnosed. During school, Elliot would be bullied often and he stated that he was not able to make any friends, but people said that Elliot would be the one not wanting to engage in any sort of friendship with them. Elliot Roger then started a YouTube channel where he would rant about being lonely and being rejected by girls all his life, and stating that he had never had a girlfriend or even kissed a girl. I don't know why. I don't know why you girls are so repulsed by me. It doesn't make sense. I do everything I can to appear attractive to you. I dress nice. I'm sophisticated. I'm magnificent. I have a nice car, a BMW. Well, it's nicer than 90% of the people in my college. Um, you know, I'm polite. I'm the ultimate gentleman. And yet, you girls, you never give me a chance. I don't know why. You know, I, I, I put a lot of effort into dressing nice. These, these sunglasses here were three hundred dollars. In one video, Elliot Roger is sitting in his car at a beach enjoying the view. Then a couple sit on a bench blocking his view. Elliot was angered by this and he said his view had been ruined. When Elliot saw the couple kiss, he said that it was torture for him to watch. Elliot also complained why he can't have a girlfriend and why his life is unfair. Hey, Elliot Roger here. I'm just sitting in my car right now, enjoying the view of the beach. And my view has been ruined by this sight right here. In front of me sitting right there on that bench is a young couple I presume about my age I was enjoying such a nice view until they came and sat down and started kissing this this is the reason why life isn't fair why does that guy get to have such a beautiful girlfriend while I'm all alone why? Why can't I experience something like that right there? They're kissing right now. It's torture for me to watch, but I have to do this. I have to film this. I have to show the world why life isn't fair. In 2011, Elliot Roger moved to Isla Vista where he would attend Santa Barbara, but in February 2012, he dropped out. 
Elliot would be in a few occurrences where he attended a party where he tried to talk to girls, but they were not interested. He would attempt to push off girls off a 10 foot ledge, but failing, and said he was thrown off and said by a group of guys at the party. Elliot would leave the party but return later to retrieve his sunglasses he had forgotten, but he was beat up by the same people who threw him off the ledge. Elliot later told officers about the incident, but they thought he was the aggressor according to Rogers himself, that this caused the planning for his rampage. In September 2013, Elliot Roger would use money he got from both of his grandmothers and his parents to go to a shooting range and buy three weapons. Elliot would also begin working on a manifesto titled My Twisted World, The Story of Elliot Rogers. On April 30th, Elliot Rogers' parents discovered his YouTube channel and were disturbed by his videos and they contacted the police who went to go interview Elliot at his apartment. Elliot told them that everything was fine and calmed the situation and the police thought there was no reason to search the apartment, but at the time Elliot had already begun his planning for his rampage and he had already had possession of weapons inside his apartment, so if the police did search his apartment, that would have ruined his whole plan according to Elliot himself. Elliot began his rampage on May 23rd, 2014. He stabbed three people, one being his roommate Hong and another roommate named George Chen and a friend, Wee Han Wang. Sorry if I mispronounced that. On the same day he killed these three people, Elliot would upload his last video to YouTube titled Elliot Rogers Retribution. In this video, Elliot talked about his plans for his rampage and his motivations. Hi. Elliot Roger here. Well, this is my last video. It all has to come to this. Tomorrow is the day of retribution. The day in which I will have my revenge against humanity. Against all of you. For the last eight years of my life, ever since I've hit puberty, I've been forced to endure an existence of loneliness, rejection, and unfulfilled desires, all because girls have never been attracted to me. Girls gave their affection and sex and love to other men, but never to me. I'm 22 years old and I'm still a virgin. I've never even kissed a girl. I don't know what you don't see in me. I'm the perfect guy. And yet you throw yourselves at all these obnoxious men, instead of me, the supreme gentleman. I will punish all of you for it. <laughs> On the day of retribution, I am going to enter the hottest sorority house of UCSB. I will slaughter every single spoiled, stuck-up, blonde slut I see inside there. All those girls that I've desired so much, they would have all rejected me and looked down upon me as an inferior man if I ever made a sexual advance towards them. While they throw themselves at these obnoxious brutes, I'll take great pleasure in slaughtering all of you. After I've annihilated every single girl in the sorority house, I'll take to the streets of Isla Vista and slay every single person I see there. All those popular kids who live such lives of hedonistic pleasure while I've had to rot in loneliness for all these years, They've all looked down upon me every time I tried to go out and join them. They've all treated me like a mouse. Well now, I will be a god compared to you. You will all be animals. You are animals, and I will slaughter you like animals. And I'll be a god, exacting my retribution on all those who deserve it. And you do deserve it just for the crime of living a better life than me. All oh, you popular kids, you've never accepted me. And now you'll all pay for it. I've waited a long time for this. I'll give you exactly 
what you deserve, all of you, all you girls who rejected me and looked down upon me and, you know, treated me like scum while you gave yourselves to other men, and all of you men for living a better life than me, all of you sexually active men, I hate you. I hate all of you. I can't wait to give you exactly what you deserve. Utter annihilation. <laughs> a minute after uploading his final video, he would send people that he knew his manifesto, including his parents and his therapist. Elliot then went to Alpha Phi, sorry if I mispronounced that again. He went to Alpha Phi sorority house uh, that was near the University of California with the murder in mind. When he tried knocking on the door, no one answered, so then he shot three Delta sorority sisters, which two of them died, Catherine Cooper and Veronica Weiss, and wounding the other, Bianca de Koch, who were near at the time. After this, Ellie got into his car and started shooting at Isla Vista Deli Market, killing Christopher Michaels Martinez. Elliot then drove away, shooting at people from his car and hitting people with his car also, injuring six people with gunshot wounds and six with his car. Elliot then got into a fight with three sheriff deputies near Little Acorn Park. During the gunfight, Elliot would get shot in his hip, which made him flee the scene, but he was still being chased by police. But then Elliot crashed into Keith Cheong, wounding him. Then Elliot has made up his mind there was no way out, so he shot himself in the head, killing him. Overall, he killed six people and injured many others at the age of 22 before killing himself, all because he never had a girlfriend, he never kissed a girl, was a virgin, and was lonely. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more spooky internet story content, whatever, uh, like, comment. Um, yeah, this, you know, we could do a whole YouTube killers uh, series if you guys want. YouTube criminals, or just any other spooky type stuff, I can do it. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. And, um, thank you so much. Uh, have a great day, everyone. Farewell.